Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to show you how to play older versions of Minecraft by using profiles in the Minecraft launcher. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and consider clicking on the bell icon so you'll get notified when I do a live stream or put out a new video. All right, so let's get started. So this is the opening window when you first start up Minecraft. And down here you'll see it says play and underneath it says uh, latest release. By default, that's what it's set to down here so that if a new release comes out, it will actually automatically download it and you'll play the latest release. There's an arrow here. If you click this arrow, it gives you what profiles you have. By default, you'll only have two. I I've created a couple here. By default, you'll have the latest release and the latest snapshot. The latest snapshot is like the beta version of the next version of, of Minecraft that they're working on. And if you want to see uh, some of the new features ahead of time in what they're doing with the new snapshot, you can always uh, run that. Uh, I set up a, uh, another profile that's running Minecraft 1.9.2. And I have a special one that I set up for my streaming. Uh, so when I do streaming, it has a couple of features on it that make it easier for me to stream. All right, now if you look up here, you'll see one of two things. You'll either see these three lines, and if you click on the three lines, it will give you uh, th this little menu up here, or you'll see this X, and if you clicked on the X, it makes that menu disappear. Uh, and it kind of remembers what you clicked on last. So if you start it up next time and you had the three lines here, it will start up with the three lines. If you, you had the X, it will start up with the X. So that will change depending on what you did last time you ran Minecraft. So it gives you these uh, different menus here. And what we want to do is we want to go to the launch uh, options right here. And the launch options once again show us, us uh, the uh, profiles that we already have set up in here. And uh, I have uh, snapshots enabled here. If you don't want snapshots enabled you can uh, uh, unclick that uh, historic versions I think we want that clicked up so this enables old alpha and beta versions when you uh, add launch options these are out of date and may be unstable so let's see what happens when we do that we do that if we uh, and we have advanced settings on here as well uh, so let's create a new uh, um, option here. And you'll see when we go down here, it has a lot of these old alphas and old releases on there. All right, so if we jump back out of here again, and let's turn off the historical versions and click to add, you'll see it still has old versions of it, but doesn't have some of the unstable ones and some of the alphas. So these are the main releases when you have that on there. Now if we jump back out of here again, cancel, and uh, we click off advanced settings and we go in to add a new one. You'll see some of the settings here have disappeared. So some of the more advanced settings are now gone. So let's, let's get out of here one more time. I'm going to click on the advanced settings because you may want to use that at some point. I'm going to leave uh, snapshots enabled uh, but you can disable that if you want to. Uh, and I'm going to start here and I'm going to add a new profile. So this gives you all the options that you can mess with. And uh, right now these are turned off. Uh, so you turn off them on as you want them. Like you can change the game directory, the Java executable. The one that's the most important is this uh, Java arguments because there are actually circumstances where you might want to put an argument or two in there to uh, alter the way that um, Minecraft starts up. And then there's a uh, log configuration thing down here, uh, which you probably will never use. And so here's... Um, the resolution up here. This is another thing you can change. By default, uh, the resolution will start at, at 854 by 
480. That's just the window size. So you can resize that to full screen size if you want to. You can also change this so that it will start up at a larger size so that you can make the windows change how big it's going to open up basically with that. So we're going to leave that on default because we don't need to mess with any of that stuff right now. Name a profile. Let's call it Minecraft test profile. Just so that I know what it is. And uh, here's the latest release right here. We can pick any of these releases right here. Or even these latest snapshots uh, for the profile. So if we want to test something with a particular version or run something with a particular version, we can do that. One reason you might want to do that is you might want to yeah, use an older uh, resource pack or something that only runs with an older version. Or you just want to run kind of an older version because you like it. The thing you have to be careful of is if you have a map that already exists and you created it in a newer version, it will not run in an older version exactly the way it was. So if there's a feature in the newer map or biome that's in the newer map, it's not in the older version, that biome will not draw the way it will in a newer version. So uh, the map will actually look different in that case. If you create a map in an older version and run it in a newer version, it will be okay because the newer version has all of the different biomes and features and stuff. So that's just something to be aware of. Uh, so anyway, let's just save this profile right here. And we're going to go uh, back out here. Do we have it? Minecraft test profile version 1.8. And uh, so we will go to uh, news right here. And we'll go down here. And we'll go up to here and select uh, Minecraft. That's going to take a minute, it looks like, because it has to download the older version. So we're going to play that, and so it's going to go preparing. So the first time it will start up, because it's loading the version, it will take a little bit longer. And there you can see it's downloading all the files it needs to. Now you, you can see I just clicked on it to make the window full size. So it still goes up to full screen size uh, when we uh, start it up. And if we go into single player, I'm going to create a new world. Uh, and uh, let's make it in creative mode. Let's see the options. Cheats are on and everything. If you go to the older versions, the older versions don't ha have, uh, or some of the older versions don't have cheats available and other things available. So uh, that's another thing to be aware of. The older versions, there are going to be features missing from them. And so we're going to go create world here. And so now we're in version 1.8. I guess rabbits were around in 1.8. All right. Interesting. All right. So that's how you uh, run an older version of Minecraft using the Minecraft launcher. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.